Lately, there's been a surge of new players in Battlefield 5. I totally understand that there's a lot to take in when you start, so here are my beginner's 10 tips. I'm Zach, if you find this video useful at all, tickle that beautiful thumbs up button, otherwise throw a thumbs down, it's cool, I appreciate the honesty. Smoke. In Battlefield 5, smoke is the universal tool for almost everything. It gives you protection when you revive your friends, advancing through open areas, retreating safely or just to provide distraction to allow you to pop off. The smoke is really thick, so while it's possible to fire more or less randomly through the smoke, it provides plenty of cover, removing one angle of potential threat. Make sure to use it in plenty, especially if you play Medic. Depending on the opponent, it can even make sense to just hide inside the smoke, listening for opponents. You know, just swinging with your melee weapon in the smoke can result in an instant takedown. Movement. Battlefield 5 provides the next evolution in battlefield movement, making it generally more smooth to jump through windows, climb rocks or fences and so on. It also adds two very specific useful movement types. The first one is sliding. By default, double tap the X button to slide and mix it up a little bit to make your movement in the game really unpredictable, throwing off the aim of your opponents. Of course, this move is totally realistic as shown on YouTube. And YouTube never lies. The other new movement is crouch running. Put your pinky finger on both crouch key and run key and you run slightly slower but in a crouch position. Making much less noise than actual running and of course crouching at the same time to keep you safe. Using all movement to its full potential is key to mastering Battlefield 5. Squad ping. Press Q to spot danger and be more effective as a squad. If your spot is on the target, it will turn red. If not, it will still be out there, but yellow. It's a great communication system to point out danger in the wonderful world of Battlefield. Did you know that you can still spot while down? Being active and spotting while down will help protect your squad mates and encourage them to revive you. Also, if you play with your friends, it helps keep comms clean. <laughs> Spotting flares. Spotting in Battlefield 5 is truly important, but the system is a bit changed compared to recent Battlefield games. We just talked about the squad ping, but you can also spot the enemies for your entire team. This is most common when playing Recon class. Actually, the DICE tried to tweak the game so the main priority for Recon would be to spot for the entire team. Well, good try DICE, good try. As Recon class you can use spotting flares, just fire them up high in the sky and they will spot any enemy within the area. Now, there is a smart counter for this strategy that you always should do. Just shoot the flares down. Yeah, it's that easy. Check the ones that have a more distinct red color and shoot it. Basically, one hit with any weapon will bring it down and immediately remove the spotting effect. Explosives versus buildings. So, you know, or you think, that enemies are hiding within a building. So you could do the more traditional way, as in Warzone or CSGO or any other game that hasn't evolved over the last decade, and you can open the door and enter. Most likely you will die by a tripwire or by some camping dude with a shotgun. Or you could just blow away the building, tear it down and let your enemies die inside. Super easy. So 2020. Loot dead players. Some players say that in Battlefield 5 you run out of ammo all the time. And if you aren't, you are not surviving long enough. Well, that's not actually true. Unless you are a tank or an airplane, if you run out of ammo you are doing something wrong. Like not understanding the game. Just run across all the dead bodies that pile up when you pop off and your character will automatically loot ammo. This will keep your primary and secondary weapon topped up. So if you run out of ammo, you are either camping far far away or you aren't popping off enough. Health and ammo stations. But what about those crisp health pouches or all the gadgets that I like to use? Well, you got me there. Unless you have a friendly medic with you, you will have to go to medic station to get a new pouch. And for gadgets such as nades, lunge mines, etc, you have to go to an ammo station. This may sound like a hustle, but honestly, the maps are usually littered by medic and ammo stations. If you're truly in the middle of nowhere, you could actually use your squad points to get supply drops. But more about that later. You can both destroy and build health and ammo stations. Just switch the hammer and you will get a sketch where you can build a station. 
repair station. Nice, so we have the health and ammo station sorted, but what about those tanks? Well, this is where most new players seem to drop the brain. Tanks can only get full repair and supply at repair stations. These are sparsely placed in more or less stupid locations on the map. Which means that usually tanks need to either retreat to such a station or throw themselves into the frying pan trying to reach one. So what's up with the issue with new players? A simple way to shorten the life of an enemy tank is simply to blow up the repair station next to it. Simple. If you are lucky it has no ammo and barely any health. Reverse situation also apply. If your tank is next to a repair station, it's vital to rebuild that station so your tank can use it. The tank driver should never, I repeat never, ever, leave the tank. Whenever the tank is empty, it will show as a white empty tank on the minimap for all players on the server. That means that your enemies will know that you are there trying to repair the tank or the station and I will try to kill you and if possible steal your tank. Having a stolen tank is very crucial in Battlefield 5, as in all previous versions. That means that the team still got their own tanks, but they also got one of their opponents. In effect, they have two more tanks, in a game where some consider one tank to be more overpowered. Never leave your tank, and always rebuild the pass station next to a friendly tank. Squads Battlefield has been created around squads since Battlefield 1942. In Battlefield 5, you can always spawn on any squad member, as long as there is enough space and they are not taking fire. However, the squad lead still has a very important role. He gives the orders for where to attack or defend, and completing such an order rewards the squad with points. These points can be spent by the squad leader for reinforcements such as pay tank, artillery, rockets and supplies. Usually, the pay tanks are super strong, even if some require some teamwork, and especially that rocket is insane. But it costs a lot too. Fast paced chaotic game. When starting Battlefield 5 for the first time, it's easy to think that you can find a good place to hide, adjust your aim, throw a couple of bullets across the map, sip some coffee, find a new target, some more coffee and so on. As long as you're lying on your belly, no one can spot or kill you. Right. No! Battlefield 5 is a fast paced super chaotic game where running and shooting always has the upper hand. Even as a sniper, you gain a lot by moving and not being a static target. It's all about moving, finding a good angle, fire, maybe kill one or two players and find a new position, back and forth. Never stay static, stay liquid. Bonus. Right, so a couple of bonus tips, then we are done. As Battlefield 5 is a shooter game, I will just assume that you are playing with headphones. If you are not, well... Just imagine a word starting on N, ending it with B. So to get the most out of your sound, make sure to switch the setting to 3D headphones. It really makes a world of difference, with exact audio letting you know where enemies are, what weapons they have and so on. Lastly, some players will try to get under your skin in chat. Some players might do strange things in a game that still has a lot of weird stuff going on. Don't get tilted. Don't let them in under your skin. Keep calm and keep popping off. Or, if you seriously think that someone is cheating, just report them and leave. Writing stuff to or about them in chat will just make them fry. Just check out comments for cheaters on YouTube. It's some sick people out there. Don't let them ruin your day. Well, that was it for today. If you liked the content, consider checking out my video for Battlefield 5 Tactics. It's here on the left. Cheers!